I mean, this is how you end up with a Michael Blackson who's a real African doing a fake African accent. Okay, Mo, don't. Uh, this guy is mad at me. All I did was give him the best advice of his life. Remember, he was wearing dirty dashikis. Dashikis. And I told him he needed to dress to be in the position that he's trying to say that he's in. And if you're the African king of comedy, sir, there's actually comedians in Africa doing comedy. If you're going to say that, you got to go to Africa and get a school, dude. Everybody got, you, you got to put in some work. And these guys, they take my advice. They change their whole persona. And... And then they hate me for it. And generally, I'm just too big to comment or make a statement about it or do a live or any of that. But when it gets to be a whole grouping of these guys, I got to come and talk to Shannon. <laughs> so that was Cat Williams talking about Michael Blackson, the comedian, on uh, Club Shay Shay during his viral interview, as you know by now. So we will be clipping these videos out just to make a point based on the, um, the responses uh, that we've been seeing of those com the comedians that were actually mentioned by Cat Williams. This specific uh, episode is about Michael Blackson. And so Michael Blackson has actually responded. He actually, it's funny because it seems like these comedians don't understand that Cat Williams is trying them out. Basically, Cat Williams is calling them incompetent in comedy. So if somebody calls you incompetent in comedy and you've been, the title you've carried on, you've carried forward, has been comedian for over 10 plus 20 years, it seems to us that the least any of these comedians that are being dissed can do is to come up with lines or a skit to show that you are a good comedian. We guess that's what Cat Williams is kind of sort of expecting they would do. But Cat also knows that they are so not good that they won't be able to catch on to it. And if you've noticed during the whole interview with Cat Williams, he was very lucid. There was no moment during that interview where he got caught by any of the questions. If anything, he was leading the interview, which was crazy because he was drinking, they were kicking, but not once, not once, Cat Williams has let his guard down, which is insane when you think about it. So back to Michael Blackson, this is what he said. And again, these guys are not funny at all. So Cat Williams is right. We don't want to take sides, but we're sorry. Cat Williams is right. And we're, we're standing, we're standing by him. So Michael Blackson replied to Cat and he said, Cat Williams is a very smart midget. And he used the N word. He took shots at the top 10 comedians alive today so we can all respond and make him relevant again. Okay. Top 10 comedians, there might be top 10 comedians according to whom, we don't know. There might be the most relevant one right now because, you know, people talk about them regularly. But the and the other, so he posted one response to cat and then for some reason this was posted let's see so he posted um on january 4th at uh 12 03 a.m he posted his first response to cat and then okay so on the same day january 4th at 12 53 a.m he posted another response and he said top 10 black comedians alive one, Eddie Murphy, two, Chris Rock, three, Dave Chappelle, four, Cat Williams, five, Martin Lawrence, six, Kevin Hart, seven, Mike Epps, eight, Cedric, nine, Earthquake, and guess who 10 is? Basically, it's him, Michael Blackson. So you can, re you can actually see in Michael Blackson's reply that he didn't think much of it. And also, 
uh, Cat Williams wasn't really, he, he didn't really go deep in my, Michael Blackson like that. He simply mentioned that he gave him an advice and they took it and they never credited him for it or whatever that is, right? So it wasn't like a diss diss, like Cat dissed a Cedric, like Cat dissed uh, um, Ricky Smiley and Cat dissed, um, you know, who's the other guy? Steve Harvey. So Bla Michael Blackson's diss was actually light. And you could also tell in his response that he took it lightly. He didn't think much of it. And he's even giving credits to Cat Williams, actually, in his uh, top... Um, top 10 that he's uh he's created and as a good comedian there should be a uh, richard Pryor on that list so that that's how you know michael blackson is not a, a real og when it comes to comedy but we like mike but michael blackson he's no harm he's not pretending to be anything he's not so he's all good so that's what we wanted to report today and you will also realize that michael blackson most comedians have actually re replied through videos and all that stuff but michael blackson has actually replied through twitter so it was inoffensive and you know so this response was actually cute so michael blackson we, we still rock with you for now <laughs> So let us know what you think about this reply. Um, we've been posting every day. We've been posting um, the responses per comedians. So let us know if you think those comedians are winning or they're losing and we'll take it from there. Be mindful. We're not trying to pin anybody against anybody. But again, if there's a BS, let's call the BS. We've actually seen so far that Cat Williams was actually right on a lot of stuff he might have missed some details here and there but for the most part he's actually right so when it does a bs let's call the bs out other than that let's just be entertained don't forget to subscribe like comment and we'll see you in the next video bye for now